<laughs> All right, what's up, guys? I got a video request to talk about feints. So, talk about feints a little bit today. So, check it out. Okay, so there's different types of feints, right? We got foot feints. We got feints where you're kind of um, almost like you're throwing a punch, right? Fake punches. And you got kind of head feints, right? So, first we'll talk about the foot feints. So, first things first, you gotta have good coordination between your feet and your upper body, right? So if you saw my uh, Pendulum Like a Pro video, I kind of talk about that a little bit, how when you, um, you kind of rock your weight forward and back like this, you get all of these feints for free, and my feet are not leaving the ground. I'm basically just using all this leg and waist movement, and because my upper body is coordinated, my lower body I get all of these feints for little energy okay so that's kind of like a combination of foot feints where I kind of half step forward like this but also I keep my arms pretty relaxed so that you get these kind of constant little hand movements makes it harder to tell when you're gonna attack okay so what I used to do in sparring is uh, if I was like dead tired, right, I would get very active. Instead of letting him know I was tired, I'd start pressing in range, moving very hectic like this. Even though I was dead tired, it's very small movements, so I'm not using a lot of energy. And nine times out of ten, my opponent would, you know, he's got to, he feels like he has to do something about that. So then he attacks. So I know I'm gonna make him attack and I have no intention of actually countering him. I'm tired, I'm just resting basically. I want him to attack and then I'm gonna move away. So now I know he missed two or three punches. So now I know he's gotta be tired too. So then I've had a chance to catch my breath a little bit and now I can get back to pushing forward or doing whatever I'm doing at that time, okay? Okay, so foot feints. A lot of times it's not just this kind of half step forward, making your opponent think you're gonna attack, but it's these foot feints to change direction, right? To get an angle for attack. So a lot of times you might fake left, and then step off to the right, fake right, step off left, that kind of thing, okay? So a big part of this is rhythm, right? You hear people talk about boxers having good rhythm, and this is part of that. So I'm working on a video about rhythm. Um, you know, I've been playing drums for you know, 30 years. So at this point, <laughs> boxing and, and, and music are like two sides of the same coin for me. So I'm working on a video about rhythm, but it's a pretty complicated thing to talk about, but I'll get there eventually, okay? But for, for now, we wanna think about rhythm. You can think about the rhythm between your feet and your hands, right? But also your left side and your right side. So think of your body split down the middle. You got a left side and a right side. You gotta have a rhythm. They gotta be coordinated together, right? So that's what people mean when they talk about rhythm, okay? Okay, and then the last thing we have to talk about is uh, the head fakes. Well, it's kind of the same thing as these, um, these punch fakes where you just kinda, you're moving your head to different spots all the time, right? So a big thing about boxing is pe people always teach you always do this and never do this and it's not really like that okay and a lot of times what they teach you in the beginning is very you know it's it's not really what you see used by the best fighters in the world okay so watch the best fighters in the world that's where you're going to do most of your learning okay a lot of those guys they're not keeping their head straight up and down like this all the time like that's very predictable my head's always in the same spot if i slip a punch why would I bring my head right back up to where it just was? I'm gonna get hit by the next punch. So you get this constant kind of head movement like this. And these are basically just head fakes, right? These different positions, right? So I'm moving my head kind of constantly. It doesn't have to be big, but it's in sync with my feet. Even if I'm not stepping, I'm shifting my weight and getting all this head movement for free, right? But you can use that to fake your opponent out, all right? So how do you work on feints? 
Well, what you can do is you take a round or two um, every day and just only practice feints, okay? So a big mistake people make in their training is everything is 100% and they treat everything like, you know, like a cardio or a burnout drill. Well, if you do that, you're gonna, you're gonna burn out, right? You're not gonna have the energy to really focus on your technique. So you wanna separate your training, all right? If you look at pro boxers, they have like sprint days, they have strength and conditioning days, and then they have boxing days. And you know, there's intense burnout style boxing drills, but if you do all of your boxing stuff like that, you're training yourself to fight like that. You know, you're training yourself to make yourself tired, right? So that was a big uh, revelation I had when I started separating these things to say, okay, I'm gonna do my cardio. You know, I'm gonna jump rope and do sprints for my cardio stuff. And I'm gonna chill out on some of this boxing stuff. I'm not gonna do everything, you know, full power 100%. I'm gonna have, you know, more relaxed kind of style drills. And you'll, you'll get a lot more benefit from your practice that way, okay? All right, so take a few rounds every day and just work on your feints, right? So it's coordinating your hands and your feet like this. So if you stand in your squared up position, your learning stance, everything is off this weight shift. And it's such a simple thing, but so many people don't do it, right? You start paying attention to um, even even like world champions and they, they still have like a very stiff, straight up and down kind of style because they don't really have good coordination between their hands and feet, right? And that's, you know, that's just part of boxing. There's some people who can be a world champion and not really have good technical skills, right? They're just tough, they hit hard, whatever. But that's just something to keep in mind. So we want to be very well rounded. So from your learning stance, you just start rocking your weight from foot to foot. Here is an exaggeration of what I'm doing. But you make that a smaller movement. And look at my hands. I'm letting them relax and flow freely. This is where your feints are going to come from, okay? So you can start working your feints just from this kind of, from this squared up position, from your learning stance. You start just, you make the motion like you're gonna throw a punch, but you don't let the hand come all the way out. You keep your hands relaxed as you sway back and forth like this, right? And then you start breaking your rhythm, right? My rhythm is this constant swaying back and forth, and then I break it, bop, bop. I do these little dips, okay? That's another form of feigning, the level change. Right, Lomachenko constantly switching levels, constantly moving his head, pressing forward, right? These are all feints. It all kind of flows together, right? Okay, so we talked about the foot feints a little bit where you're just kind of maybe just a stomp feint like this or changing direction, faking which direction you're gonna go, going the other way. Now for these punch feints, it's similar to what we were just talking about, about your learning stance and just getting the coordination. Once you got that down, you get in your stance and let your hands kind of flow as you shift your weight forward and back. You can do this stationary at first, but eventually you start moving around. Practice this for a round or two every day, okay? So eventually, you see guys like Usyk, it's hard to keep that lead hand up. So guys like Usyk, they kind of bounce it in place for, for whatever reason. You can keep this one, hold the phone pretty easily, right? This doesn't get too tired, but the lead hand will. So you get this kind of bounce going and you use that to make your feints, okay? So you get this constant kind of lead hand motion. Right? So again, the pendulum like a pro video kind of covers this a little bit at the end where you're rocking your weight from front to back like this and getting all these, you know, head fakes and fake punches, okay? Okay, so that was a quick video on feints. So, you know, isolate them, practice them a couple rounds a day and you'll notice you'll get a lot better, right? So chill out on your shadow boxing, right? You see all these influencers and they're throwing bzz, bzz, these, these crazy like fast combos, full speed, you're gonna injure yourself if you're punching at air full power like that, full speed. You're just asking for an injury, right? 
So watch how pro fighters shadow box. Everything's very controlled, right? Like I was saying earlier, there's a time and place to work on your cardio and shadow boxing's not really it. This is a coordination exercise, all right? So you shadow box nice and relaxed, right? You can do it squared up. You can do it standing still from your stance. It doesn't matter. You're working on building rhythm and coordination between your upper body and lower body, okay? So like the video, uh, see you in the next one, peace.